Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diaphne. If you're new here, welcome, bienvenue, and thank you for clicking on today's video. As you can see by the title, today is a super exciting video because we're doing a full get ready with me. That is makeup, drugstore makeup, hair, outfit, perfume. So if you like to see what perfume I use, the dress that I'm wearing, shoes, jewelry, everything, please keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Join the family. For this look, I'm mixing high and low pieces. I am super excited. Now, enough talking. Let's get into the makeup. So, I'm super, super excited for this video, you guys, because I haven't done a drugstore affordable makeup tutorial or just makeup look on my channel for so long i know i use a lot of high-end products but i do and i can achieve a bomb flawless look with drugstore for the foundation i'm going to use this this is a staple for me i don't think i will ever stop using this unless they stop making it. This is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. I actually, when it first came out, did a review on this. I was a brand new YouTuber, so I'm not even gonna plug it in, you guys, because uh, video quality, no good. <laughs> but this foundation is amazing. It's still on my channel. If you do a little digging, you might find it, but I won't be the one to plug it in okay oh and one thing i forgot about this you do not need to use a lot i'm having some sort of allergic reaction to something or i don't know some sort of reaction my skin is like breaking out i was doing fine and now all of a sudden i'm breaking out again like I told you guys, you have to be careful with this foundation because it is truly, truly full coverage. But why I think it is an absolute amazing foundation to have, especially if you have oily skin. This is a great foundation. Like, it stays on all day. All of the products I'm going to use are going to be drugstore products or products you can find at Ulta. If I do have anything from Sephora, which I think I only have one, it's going to be something that's a very, very affordable. So now I'm going to go with my concealer. The concealer I'll be using is the Oma Beauty. This is a black owned um, makeup brand. Jovia's Place is also black owned in case you guys didn't know. I do have a black owned, actually two black owned makeup um brands video where i use only black on makeup brands this is the stay woke concealer i think this packaging is super cute my skin is not the best right now it was doing so well and then i think this morning i was rushing for work and i did not do my skincare routine i just used a bar of soap to wash my face instead of using my actual cleanser and then boom it started just breaking out and i knew better but i was i didn't want to be late to work for some reason i like this sponge more when it's not wet i know it's weird because you're supposed to wet your sponge but i like how firm it is when it's not wet when it's wet it's off flimsy i feel like i have no control or setting powder i'm going to use the beauty bakery better not bitter setting powder this is in the shade plantain it's a yellow tint keep in mind you guys the foundation is very full coverage so sometimes if you put other matte things on there your face can end up looking cakey so all right so i'm going to set the entire face and i'm going to use this sephora micro smooth powder this is very affordable it's not in the drugstore but it is affordable i don't have a powder that is lightweight enough for me to use with this foundation right now okay so i'm going to jump to bro i mean not brows i'm going to do my lashes and i'm going to use this combo right here this is the l'oreal lash paradise primer with the maybelline lash sensational this is my combo right here 
this is notorious on my channel if you watch any of my other makeup videos you will see that I used to just use this all of the time For blush, I'm going to use two e.l.f. blushes. As you can see, one is more of a darker, deeper terracotta kind of color, and the other one is more pinkish. So I have here always spicy, always rosy. So I'm going to lay the darker one first. I'm going to put the always spicy. Because I don't have a bronzer, I'm hoping this can be used almost like a bronzer because of the shade. And I'm going to add always rosy a little bit here. And again, I'm going to take my powder brush to just go over everything. So for lips, I'm doing my NYX Brown Pencil Liner, Lip Liner, Lip Liner, NYX Tiramisu Lip Gloss. And I'm going to add my Revlon Supernatural Lip Gloss. So my combo is super pretty, I think, in my head. Simba, wait, move. If you want to do, move. If you want to do a lip liner that's darker than this, depending on your skin tone, go for it. But this is the one I wanted to do. I'm done with the makeup we're going to move on to the hair I'm really not going to do anything serious to my hair I am relaxed and I have two um, two rows of extensions in between so yeah I'm just going to get my hair looking nice and presentable and then we'll move on to the outfit and jewelry and perfume so to do my baby hairs i'm just going to tie my hair back like so and i'm going to focus on the baby hairs first product i'm going to use is this 24 hour age tamer by ebin so yeah it's just a regular edge brush i'm going to dip in and I'm going to just swoop de doo I know some people don't like the swoop de doo If you don't, then just don't do it. Do what you like to do. If you don't like to swoop, don't swoop, girl. Do not swoop. Leave the swoop to the people who love it. I'm going to use... This is the baby list, but the baby one, like the travel size one, I'm going to just like give it a little bit of, I just wanted to have a little bit of body. Okay. I'm going to tie this back again. I'm going to take my Louis Vuitton jungle bandeau. It has a nice print. I showed you guys this in my luxury unboxing video. I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it already. It's a good one. You should watch it. But yeah, I, I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm just going to use this side. The hair is pretty much done, you guys. Like, I don't know how to do much to my hair so this is pretty much all i do like i'll add a bun a bandeau i'll like curl a little part of it or straighten it or whatever so now i'm going to get dressed i'm going to show you guys the dress and So 
so for perfume i wanted to keep this look very airy springy and light i'm using the jo malone peony and blush suede i absolutely love this one this is such a spring scent beautiful lightweight and it fits perfectly into what i'm wearing right now and i love this this is actually the candle that i'm burning in my house right now so my entire house smells like this this is really good let's get into the jewelry you guys for jewelry i'm wearing my dior montaigne cd hoop earrings i'm wearing my Ana luisa like a little flower necklace with a matching bracelet i'm wearing my cartier rings david yerman ring um two david yerman bracelets and a michael kors watch my dress is from express i'll have everything linked down below for you guys I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton bandeau. I absolutely love this. It was featured in my luxury haul video. And my platform are YSL Tribute Sandals Inspired, but they're from Aldo. I got them years ago, but if I find something similar, I'll link it for you guys. And my bag is my alma bb definitely i'm going to do a what fits in my alma bb bag for you guys stay tuned for that video don't forget to check all the links down below you guys everything will be there for you guys and i truly hope you enjoy this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up and for sure leave comments down below so i can do more like these yeah so this is the end of the video i want to thank you guys for watching thank you for hanging out with me don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!